As the European Court of Justice has decided it is no longer legal to provide insurance based on gender, motor insurance providers will with little doubt turn to technology to adapt their motor insurance offering. Jeffrey Finlay, chairman of Lysanda, tells us a bit more on his company and on the technology he provides. Lysanda is a UK-based company that was founded in 2005. The purpose behind the company is to develop technology that would monitor driver behavior. Driver behavior is very important in terms of helping save fuel and reduce CO2 emissions. And that's fundamentally the, the core business of Lysander. We developed the technology now to the state where it can be delivered in a very simple and straightforward way. The device that goes into the car is very, very small indeed, plugs into an existing port within the car, so it's very easy to install. And then it can transmit a huge variety of data back to uh, both our portal and all the portals of our customers. Customers include people like TomTom, TNT, and many other entities of that type. Our service that we deliver to them has been initially through the device that I described. It's installed in vehicles. But increasingly, there is a greater focus now on the driver behavior aspects of the technology. In 2012, it will not be possible to differentiate purely based on the gender, as I said earlier. Therefore, insurance companies are going to need to find a way of getting empirical evidence about the driving behavior of the individuals they insure. We think we have technology now that can support that. That technology is now very cost effective, it's extremely efficient, it plugs very easily into the vehicle and will report by trip what and how and where that driver has uh, been performing. So they will be able, to be able, for example, to identify speeding, uh, hard braking, hard cornering, uh, heavy acceleration, these kind of activities, all of which can contribute to a negative uh, driver uh, performance or profile. And likewise, if people are driving smoothly and intelligently, they'll get not only a, a lower insurance premium, but have the byproduct of obviously saving fuel and saving CO2 emissions. E-call and B-call is a very interesting innovation which should be arriving uh, European-wide in 2014. Effectively what that means is that vehicles will be have to be equipped from the manufacturers with the ability to make a call to the breakdown services or emergency services without any driver intervention. So this effectively means the vehicle is diagnosing what is wrong with it and making a phone call to a breakdown service and advising them that they, they need to be recovered. In the event of an incident or an accident, that will incorporate making calls to the emergency services. So determining whether you need a, an ambulance or a, a fire engine or a policeman to attend the incident. The challenges with all of that is it's, it's prone to uh, potentially being very complicated and, and becoming a bit of a mess, frankly. And therefore, we think we have technology now that will help, particularly in the breakdown sector, to identify what is wrong with the vehicle at the time it has its failure through a prognostics diagnosis type of uh, approach. That means that when the vehicle has a failure, it reports that failure automatically, it will report the type of failure. That should help enormously the breakdown services determining whether an engineer can fix that problem, which in modern cars is getting increasingly unlikely as you typically have to take something off and put a new part on rather than repair. And if that is the case, that it is not possible to repair the roadside, then save the time and effort of sending an engineer, just send a breakdown truck to tow the vehicle away instead. It'll save time, it'll save money for everyone concerned. <music>